Hello and welcome to another video. We'll be looking at another piece of luggage, this time my carry-on bag, an American Tourister Frontech 54 centimeter spinner. So spinner means it has these 360 degree wheels which roll around absolutely great. I like that a lot. That's one of the reasons why I got this bag. Uh, it's got a nice telescopic handle um, and it can also expand a bit, which is nice. So you can just do that. And it accordions out just a little bit in case it's absolutely full. Um, this bag is about three kilograms. So on some airlines, this bag alone will be almost half your weight allocation, at least in Australia. Uh, I picked this up for about 250 Australian dollars. And um, let's go and get a closer look at this thing, why don't we? Uh, we'll start with the TSA lock. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at the TSA lock. It's it's pretty straight uh, forward. You just kind of set the thing. I've, I've covered up the actual correct key here. And then you just give a little pull here. And look, TSA locks are not really that secure, um, but I do find that they prevent zippers from moving, which is why I like them. And they prevent someone from quickly getting into your bag. So they do provide some benefit. Now we'll get into the bag. So this bag opens uh, like this. You just kind of pull it down and then it flops forward and then there's an inner zipper. Now this pocket is for a laptop and it can hold a 15 inch MacBook Pro just fine and I'll show you that right now. So I'm back with my 16 inch MacBook Pro and you can just kind of slide it on in just like that. And it sits great. Um, although it gets a little bit top heavy, it almost fell down. Uh, so that gets me to one weird annoying thing about this bag. Uh, getting into the main compartment uh basically you want to remove the laptop first because this this won't flop all the way down to the ground uh and you'll probably want it like this because it's a bit of a a bucket design so we'll take the laptop out now and we'll show you the rest of the bag so let's see here now there are more zippers, which I'm trying to find, here. So there's another zipper here, an interior zipper, and that gets you into the main bucket. And another thing I do like about this, it's a little clunky, and I knew that would be a minor annoyance when I bought the bag. I tried it before, um, but I decided something I would accept. Um, it can uh, hold quite a bit, and it's quite deep, meaning I can stick my camera bag in here, and I don't have to worry about it. I can put some clothes and a few other things and it's a good carry. The problem is you can really load this thing up and it can get way too heavy really quickly. Um, I think Virgin Australia only allows seven kilograms, which is really light. Um, and other airlines, you can get maybe 14 kilograms in here, which it's better suited for that. Uh, in addition, there is a little compartment here for a battery. And I should have pointed out earlier on the top, there is a spot for a uh, standard USB plug, no USB-C. So you can use this as like a little portable battery pack too, which is nice. Not if it's checked though, don't do that. But I just give you a quick look at the USB port just so you know what's there. So it's right there, it's underneath that bit of rubber. First stuff about this bag, the wheels are accessible uh, if you needed to replace them. The assembly is underneath this fabric and there's an internal zipper here. Now, the actual zip is on the inside, meaning you kind of have to feel for it and pull it. I've managed to do it. It's, it's perfectly doable. Um, but yeah, that's that. Now, there goes uh, the last thing, uh, which is sealing this thing back up, which um, it's a little annoying, and I'll show you that now. Okay, so when you want to seal it, you got to flop it like that, and then you got to find the internal zipper, and then you just give it a little bit of a... A zip like that and then you can flip it over and you can slide whatever you want in and then you can use the, the main zips again and there you go just like that and that's the uh, American Tourister front tech um, if you found the video useful, give it a like, give it a subscribe. Um, I think I covered anything. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments, and I'll be happy to answer anything about this bag. Um, it served me great on my last flight, and I hope I have it for many years. See you in the next one. Bye.